Hey everybody, it's Paul Grossman, the Dark Arts Wizard, and today I'm going to be explaining the differences between automation and the advantages you have when you're using Stormrunner Functional. Now, when you're working in a standard automation environment, you're probably using an automation tool to either record or create scripts in one particular browser, let's say Explorer, and then replaying those scripts against the other browsers that you may have installed, like Chrome or Firefox, but you're limited to just the operating system that's installed on your current system. How do you know that it, it will also work on older versions of your operating system? So what you can do is use Stormrunner Functional to spin up virtual environments like Linux Ubuntu, uh, older versions of Windows, and even a Mac. And in fact, you can get different versions of those browsers as well. In fact, if you want to go even further, you can actually set up what resolution of screen you want for those environments. Now, why would you want to do that? You may be thinking, well, it's a real good reason is because most of us like developers love to have a large monitor. However, the software developing might actually be running on a large set of small laptops and that is can cause some issues if uh, well if you're not too careful about how your your interface looks so it's a really good idea to make sure that you don't end up with something uh, disastrous like that also when you take have an error you take screen captures and you can report that right back to your results if you happen to be running an ALM it appears in there or you can actually see it inside of Stormrunner Functional also, Stormrunner Functional runs against mobile devices, iOS and Android, and multiple versions of those particular objects as well, and multiple devices of those as well. well let's say you're not a lean FT guy. Well, let's say you're not a UFT guy. Hey, that's totally fine. There's also another tool out there called Lean FT by Microfocus, and Lean FT basically runs in Java. In fact, it has three languages, Java, JavaScript, and C Sharp. And you can edit those languages not only in Eclipse, but IntelliJ and Microsoft Visual Studio. So in this case, you can pick your development IDE, create your script, and go run it inside your virtual environments again and under all sorts of different browsers and screen resolutions. Now you might be a Selenium fan, well that's okay, that's fine. Selenium and LeanFT actually integrate together and LeanFT actually gives you a very easy way to identify your objects using a lot of additional identifying properties versus where you're using the by ID or XPath or something like that, that might be a much difficult to even read. In this case, you can certainly see that this is input text and the name of the text is actually called names, the first name that, that we've got in that web edit field up there. Much easier to take a look at for that particular code. All right, so, it also gives you the ability to interact with other applications such as terminal emulators if you need to check some values on the back end of your database or if you need to interact with applications that are locally installed on your virtual environment like say office word or your email or excel but let's say you're brand new to developing in lean ft and and you'd like to know how do you learn that particular language well, again, Stormrunner Functional gives you an opportunity to go and launch any one of these particular envir environments, launch your browser, and then go and record against it. And it'll automatically create your initial JavaScript uh, test. Now, of course, we don't want to use record and playback as our only means of doing this, but it does give you the opportunity to learn JavaScript and how that syntax is set up in LeanFT without having to read a whole bunch of books and manuals in order to learn that knowledge. Of course, there's another area in Stormrunner Functional, we call it exploratory testing. Now, it's not quite automation, 
you want to go and see if you can break the application, you can set up Storm Runner to go and interact with your application. And then for several minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, you can go and interact through the application and it will record what steps you executed. So you actually have a line by line explanation of what it is that you are doing. It takes screen captures of every single shot. And then you can also highlight any particular issues if you find a problem. Well, I want to thank you for watching this brief overview of what exactly MicroFocus Storm Runner is and how it can benefit you. I hope you have yourself a great day.